On this team, we fight for bitch. On this team, we tear ourselves and everyone else around us to pieces for that itch. Coming in at 320 kilobytes per second, it's time for Maddie C's Sports for you and me. What the fuck is up? They ain't touching me for nothing. Gang shit is not my business. I ain't not the one to fuck with. All right, everybody, Maddie C Sports for you and me. I got a special guest right here. This dude is a force, man, an absolute force in the boxing game. Uh, I think you took over the almost everybody in the New York amateur game uh, pretty much. That true? Um, yeah, I mean, for, I, had a, I had a good run for a few years. I was uh, – I won every tournament in New York, and uh, that same – in 2015, I won the Nationals, too. So I was number one in the country. Yeah, man. I saw, like, you took over the New York Athletic Club. You took – you fought in, um, obviously, Golden Gloves. Obviously, um, you know, you were a part of the Olympic trials. And, man, you got a resume that's more than, like, my resume for getting a job. <laughs> <laughs> um. But I just I I came into the sport late. I had my first fight um, when I was 19. I bought I started boxing like a few months before I turned 19. Um, I just I just wanted to catch up. I thought that if I the more fights I had, I could learn on the job through experience. So um, I just went out there and gave it everything I had, you know. Some people say they, they want some, but you see it by the action. You can say it, but you need the action behind it, too. Well, you definitely have the action, and um, people are going to see your action again January 21st against Angel Hernandez. Now, do you do you know anything about your opponent right now? Uh, the little bit I've seen. Um, I watched two fights on him, and I watched his um, – I looked at his box rack, so – He's only been stopped one time, um, so I could tell he's a tough, durable dude. Uh, the two fights I've seen, he just walked forward, trying to land power shots, looking to come around from the sides, hooks. So, I mean, I, I it's kind of like the amateurs uh, where, like, you get it, you get an idea of what your opponent is, but I don't really, really know for sure. But, I mean, it's, it's not a lot he really – can do different than those two videos, I think. Yeah, you actually got to be in the moment and actually be in the ring to really know what his style, his stance. You know, that's the thing with boxing. People change that, change up their whole game plan and you're not ready for something. Right, right. Once he's, you know, because I'm sure he's seen a video of me and I'm a southpaw, so he's going to fight me different than he fights uh, the righties. Or maybe not. We'll, we'll see what happens. You're like Rocky, bro. You're like the you're like the Southpaw. <laughs> yeah, I just I just wanna I want to give everybody a good show. That's it. I just want to give a good show and um, have everybody enjoy the fight. Well, I mean, you're going into Mohegan Sun now. The la not the last card, but the card before I went to the summer card and. The atmosphere was electric, man. So, like, I know you've been on the big time, like PBC and stuff like that. But is it any different from going into the ring, say, in Mohegan to, you know, like a casino that you've never heard of or something like that? Like, is it any different to you? Um, it's not it's not really different in, in the terms of like one and two. Uh, fight and perform like I don't care where I fight um, I just want to fight we can fight in the gym we can fight in the backyard I just want I just want to win I love winning 
but it does it's different when it comes to my friends, my family, and just people overall who I don't know supporting me. Like I'm gonna be, I'm really gonna be home fighting on the big uh arena. So that makes me happy that there's yeah. people, my my friends and my family, like the way that they feel about it. So it's just it like it, it feels like a special place. It feels better than fighting at Barclays and, and uh, Madison Square Garden because everybody who I actually, you know, grew up with, they, they're excited to be driving them to the casino because they have something else to do other than see me fight. Now they could play, they could gamble, come to my fight, then go gamble again, get a room. It's just, it, it's going to make for a good night. Well, they got to put you on the on the gambling slip, bro. They got to put you on there. <laughs> I, you say you ain't winning unless you bet on the man right here. <laughs> and what's funny is you just answered my question, like how you feel like fighting at home. And you just gave me the right answer right there. So that's pretty dope. Like and Mohegan Sun is just like such a cool place to see a fight. I mean, I haven't seen a fight at Foxwoods. They haven't had a, had a card out there in a long time. But yeah, I mean, I, I never, I never heard of him having boxing. But I'm sure they have. I just haven't heard. Well, that was like the Gotti Wars with uh, Mickey Ward. You know, though, that's where it was. Oh, those at. were at Fox was. I, I didn't know that. Yeah, and um, you know, I mean, you got some good guys on the card. You know, I, and honestly, I feel like the Connecticut fighters and the Western Mass fighters have more. I'm not saying anything bad about the the South Shore or, you know, the Boston area. I'm not saying anything about that. But you guys, I'm, I feel I'm more hungry than ever to to fight and get in the ring. Like, it's almost like you guys feel like there's nothing to lose every time you guys step in the ring, when it, whether they have your record or, you know, they're just getting up in the game. Like, it's a tremendous fire that you guys have under. Yeah. I can't speak for everybody else, but I know for me, for sure. Like I'm, I'm with whatever. I'm with whatever. Like, I'm, I've been, I've been saying that whoever want to fight, we could do it. Um, you know, they, they. The reason I ended up on this car was because, you know, they had this kid who fight for CES. I was supposed to fight him, but he injured himself, so I. I had to get a different opponent. I mean, but he's from Boston. I'm with whatever. Like, I don't care if it's a fight. Okay, we can lace them up. Let's do it. If you a better man, just beat me. That's it. Yeah, man. And you know what? My big one of my questions is what what originated your um, your nickname, the gift? Um, to make a long story short, I got so the judge who was judging my court case at the time was also a judge in the Golden Gloves. And um, I feel like he gave me a gift by giving me a second chance at life because I, I had a lot of years um, that, that I could have done. And um, he gave me, he gave me probation. And I just, so now I feel like my gift is to give that back to these, to the kids who come from my neighborhood, who, are in the same predicaments that I'm in. So now I just, I reach out to them. I'm there at the gym for them. And uh, um, I just, I'd use whatever resources I can to help any kid that walk through those doors. And much respect to that. I love hearing stuff like that, you know, giving back to the community and, you know, really, you know, looking out for the youth, like, you know, some fighters are, are different. They're just going for themselves, but others are like yourself who not only train just for you, but train for the, for the youth that, you know, may have some issues or may need an outlet like boxing, you know, and then maybe out of nowhere, they become pros like you and get up to where you are. I mean, that was another question I meant to ask you, you know, and you may not want to answer, but your last fight, you, you did lose your, your O and stuff like that. But, um, you know, people don't understand how much it takes to get up to 17 wins and, uh, 16 wins. No, 
sorry. Uh, yeah, seven, yeah 17, 17 wins 17 in a row. Yeah. You know, like, it, it's just like, it's almost, I'm not saying impossible, but like, it's crazy hard to get to that point because there's so many different fighters from so many different places, like even Brazil, Japan, like everybody trains different. So, I mean, like, with with that, oh, do you feel like you you like got it off your chest and you feel like you're not rejuvenated, but you feel like Yeah, I get I get what you where you're going with it. I mean, yeah, I do. I feel like I feel like it put it in perspective for me. Like that's not the only thing that matters to me. Like losing winning the losing, like I like I only wanna win. That's all I wanna do, but it it put it in perspective, like, yeah, it's okay. I'm 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 fine. My family good. Uh, it's a sport at the end of the day, and I it, it's on me. Any anything that that happened with the losses is something that I did, and it's not like I don't need to talk about it. I know I know what I did wrong. I know what I went through. I know what I was going through, and that's why I'm back, and I'm and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to put on because I know where I'm at now. You know, I I needed that. Sometimes what we do, we, we when we take these losses, we either got comfortable or we put ourselves in a position to lose, you know. So I know that's what I did to myself. I'm holding myself accountable, and and now I'm gonna make something for the rest of the for everybody who fight me now. They gotta go through something different than what than what they would have before. So how about we just say the next people you fight are in deep shit? That's it. I mean, it's it's. It's, it's that it's like that it's like that That's and you know like, like i don't know man like you know like i know you're a tough fighter and you don't give up and you know i've seen your fights and stuff like i know like you're not a like you can be but like you're you're not a knockout artist but you got the game to where like you got people like what the fuck i can't get to this guy i can't I can't do anything to get to this man. And, you know, shit, I'm in trouble in the sixth round. Like, I, I got to step it up. And you're like, nah, nah, that ain't happening in my book. It, so I, That's it. I, like saw, that. I, I, so I care about is winning. As long as I win. I don't care about getting a knockout. I don't care about putting you to sleep. I'm going to beat you. You're going you to try to hit me. I'm not going to hit me. I'm going to hit you. And I'm going to go on. Have a good night. Put it this way, I wouldn't want to fuck with you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I, how do you feel with um, you know, how the CES organization has been treating you? I know for me, um, the Birchfields are good people. Um, I especially shout out Jimmy Jr. because he um he respects like my kids on my on my Instagrams and stuff, like all that stuff. So it seems like a very good family organization now. I, I ask people just in their eyes how you feel with that organization. I'm cool. I mean, we, we this is my second fight um, that we collab. Um, they brought they brought me on the card, so I'm I have nothing nothing but good things to say. Like I'm, I'm happy that they gave me this platform to come perform, and I can't wait to just put on. That's it. I, I, that's that's gonna be my 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 repayment for letting them get on, me on the card is just giving out a good show for me. Now you you got some you got some people on the card that um you know they they're um kind of like you like a redemption not not particularly you I don't know if it's a redemption thing for you but like a couple of fighters are are hungry and they like they took the L and they want they want that spark back and um. It seems like, you know, I, I don't know if you yourself are like, oh, look at this card. Or you're like, nah, I don't give a shit about the card. This is me. I'm about my fight. Nobody else's fight. Yeah, I don't, I no disrespect to any of them. Like, when I see them, I'm going to say what up. But, like, I'm not, I don't care about nothing. Like, I, I don't care about anything but me going out there, doing what I'm doing. I'm going to beat this dude. I'm going to win. and then. I'm going to chill with my family and I'm going to set up the next card. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm repeating this all year. So my, my final question to you, Cordell is what is your, um, well, 
actually it's two things. So what, what is your goal past like coming into 23 or even in the future? And the second one being how many fights do you expect? Like what's your goal uh, as to numbers for fights you want to have? Like, you know, how many fights you want this year? Uh, so my goal is to get back uh, in position to fight for a title at 154. Um, I, I don't, I don't know who I have to fight to do that, but I'm just going to keep fighting until uh, opportunity presents itself. And for as far as number of, of fights this year, I'm trying to fight as much as I can. So if, you, if they call me and say, yo, we got to fight every month for you. I'm going to fight every month. If they say, yo, we got to fight every three weeks. It's all different in different uh, states. The commission may let you fight a month. Oh, uh, you got to get cleared. So whatever is on the table, I'm taking. Because once I, like, when I lost, I took that shit personal. It's personal with everybody. I just want to go and I want to win. That's it. That's all I want to do. I just want to go and I want to beat everybody. So that we, I want to fight at the minimum, like five, six times this year. If we can fight more, I'll fight more. I just want to put myself in position, position to win. And um, is there any sponsors you want to shout out by any chance? Oh, yeah. Actually, that's a great, that's a good one. I want to shout out, I got to shout out my sponsors, Juice King, Stanford, you know, that's where I go and get my smoothies. I want to shout out the LaBalbo's Auto Body Shop. If you need your car done, go check them out. I want to shout out my boy, Culture Inc., Jesse. He's giving out the best tattoos in the town. I want to shout out my boy, Brandon Moss, Visionary. He got the best suits, sweatsuits, clothing, anything you want him to make, he can make for you. And that's it. All right. Thank you for the plug. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> and me, of course. <laughs> Hey, yeah, thank you for giving me the platform. <laughs> uh, man, I, I love having interviews because, like, especially with fighters and all that stuff, boxing and MMA currently, but mainly boxing has been a love for me for a long time. But um, I like to see what careers turn, like, keep going into. So, of course, I'll watch your career, and I tell everybody I support you who – I support <laughs> – sorry. I – support those who support you and I feel I feel that you know so definitely support you thank you coming on my show and I tell everybody your family when you come on my show so I appreciate that yeah, and um, go, and um, everybody Cordell Booker watch out January 21st he is fighting Angel Hernandez at Mohegan Sun um, right now um, it, it, do you have tickets for your show still available yeah, I got, I got, um, I sold out the 75s, but I got 150 and 55 left. Okay, so um, how can they reach you for that if they want to grab tickets for you? Just hit me on a DM. They could just DM me on, on Instagram, or if you got somebody who got my number, I had the same number since I was in the seventh grade, so <laughs> everybody got my number. <laughs> Anybody could hit me up and uh, just grab a ticket. I'm almost, I'm almost out though, so. Just, just hurry up. Yeah, we'll we'll make that happen. We'll promote that, and um, yeah, support your local fighters. And then if if they're sold out, go to CES um, and all that. So, Cordell, I want to thank you again, and I wish you good luck on your next fight, the twenty first. Like I said, Angel Williams at Mohegan Sun. Look out for other fighters out there too, because they're good ones too. So. Thank you very much, Cordell. And um, hopefully we'll see you in the future and we'll interview after a dub. All right, yeah, let's do that. Thank you. All right, no problem, man. Thank you. Thanks for watching Matty C's Sports for You and Me. Make sure to follow Matty C on Matt Cameron 23 on Twitter, Matty C23 on Instagram, and subscribe to Matty C's Sports for You and Me on YouTube.
what the fuck is up? They ain't touching me for nothing. Gang shit is not my business. I ain't not the one to fuck with. I bring the flow, we're lyrical stamina, I'm rapping a million miles. One pun on my animal, then I'm a cannibal, taking my pick and I pounce. Bold and serious, cold and vivious track. Murderer, a cup I need by no one, so I got my back. Further, brother, heat is up, extinguisher. I got the track burning up. Don't think to touch six feet enough to get the match to combust. Diamond, strike it, ignite on any gift and surface solid. Callous, symbols that come from.